Hi all, I hope you've been having a great time over the holidays, Christmas holidays. Uh, let's have a look at another game of Leela. This is in Division 1. So, back in Division 1 when Laser was playing Leela, and we had the Dutch Leningrad as the opening. So Leela playing the Dutch Leningrad. One of my favourites, actually, with the black pieces. Very aggressive, dynamic uh, system. We have now Queen B3, Knight A6, Rook D1. H6, Bishop E3, Queen E8. So black is prepared sometimes to play E5. White stops that with D5 with the option now of the en passant if E5. C5, we have Bishop D2. Knight goes back to C7 now. So it's covering that E6 square. Bishop E1, G5. So very aggressive intense here getting the queen to h5 and maybe f4 later which opens up the bishop it's a really nice attacking setup uh, here in this particular position it seems we have e3 queen h5 so black's attack looks very natural indeed white plays a4 and now a5 so not a6 this might be the lesser evil actually a6 you might think is tempting, but it does weaken that b6 square. It has its downsides. Uh, a5 may sometimes threaten to play knight a6 to b4. So here we see knight b5 immediately, and that's eyeing that a5 pawn, actually. So there's no chance for knight a6 here. White could take on a5. Leela actually takes on b5, a takes, and now a5 is hanging, it seems. But black is not interested in that. Leela plays f4, pushing on, opening up the bishop. And this is a key idea, especially with the rook on d1. This is looking very dangerous. If b6 had been played, it seems every tempo is very important. White could play bishop c3 and be actually meeting with f4 quite well, it seems here, with e takes and rook e1. Uh, and it seems as though white's getting a small edge there, uh, technically. So every tempo is also, it is it is really important here. So we see actually, uh, in fact, so f4, just, just leaving this pawn to be taken. e takes, yeah, this is very dangerous. If rook takes here, rook takes, bishop takes, a subtlety is b6. And if white takes that, luring the bishop away from that, diagonal then black has a kind of winning position actually with this pin on the rook here it's winning it's just winning a piece there so white plays e takes f4 ignoring a5 we have g takes knight h4 knight g4 it's an attack which seems to be liberating all the pieces in the process this rook is being liberated this bishop is being uh, liberated all in the process of, of pushing aggressively we have queen c2 which gives the idea that maybe queen g6 is interesting a4 trying to lure the queen away to the queen side to siberia but white's not having that white's not taking the pawn on a4 here uh, white plays rook d2 a couple of interesting alternatives to check out. Queen g6, trying to sort of neutralize black's attack. This might actually be a reasonable position uh, for white. Uh, black's got a small edge here, but uh, it's not as though it's completely winning or anything. It seems just yet. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, rook takes a4. This is... Uh, a spectacular move f takes just offering the rook on a8 so this is just absolutely crushing knight e3 check here the f is very dangerous as you can see tactically winning the queen so white has to be very careful of course so rook d2 we have knight e5 bishop e4 bishop f6 now knight g6 knight takes bishop takes queen g4 the attack is carrying on it seems here because now with the pressure on white's pawn chain black has things like bishop d4 to pin critically that f2 pawn once that's pinned f takes is more effective we have rook a3 bishop d4 and white in desperation here actually gives up the exchange with rook takes d4 you might think that's a weird decision it wasn't absolutely necessary well there is the dreaded form pawn threat and by the way there's a new form pawn t-shirt in the description if you want to check out teespring um 
but yeah there's a big form form threat of f3 sometimes so for example rook ad3 that actually leaves the bishop hanging uh so uh, but f3 is even uh better first uh let's try and be more sensible moving the bishop so that's not a liability rook f6 now this position even when the queen's coming off you know this is also a concern the queen side as an example on bishop e4 now an example of the form pawn uh, that's that's horrible otherwise there's uh, uh, big problems here for black with that pawn uh, so yeah it's it's very advantageous generally this position for black uh, if that pawn's established okay so um, we have actually the exchange that rook takes d4 c takes f3 queen g5 g4 another very aggressive h5 bishop takes h5 on h4 here this forcing move needs to be factored in queen e5 hits the bishop on e1 and then white crumbles with h takes g4 so uh we have bishop takes but now bishop f5 activating the pieces connecting the rooks hello hello queen d2 queen g7 bishop f2 and now d3 this is an interesting pawn here on d3 h4 rook a c8 and the problem is also now yeah this c file looks a little bit dicey white plays actually rook c3 we have bishop h7 rook takes d3 offering another exchange sacrifice but Lila avoids this one the king is getting weaker a lot on bishop takes d3 with say bishop d4 coming it looks nasty around black's king this looks much more pragmatic rook takes c4 trying to break through on the c file to white's king potentially we have bishop d4 queen h6 rook c3 and now the rooks support each other king g2 and now a3 trying to blast through the c file we have b takes a3 clearly rook takes a3 there's rook c2 here pinning the queen to the king so b takes a3 rook takes bishop takes so the exchange up but white does have a point it seems with the pawns there are six white pawns uh to black's four so two pawns for the exchange is usually a good deal let's see here e5 d takes queen takes a4 the problem is now after a4 yeah this is big trouble on the c file this position uh, if white hadn't have played uh, d takes then e4 is well supported sometimes with that bishop sometimes but white has to be sorry black has to be careful of course as well so yeah this looks as though this whole thing's controversial now after queen b3 <laughs> if the bishop moves there's rook c2 so we have now white giving up the bishop abandoning the whole bishop now queen takes c3 queen takes d6 so a lot of pawns but white's king safety is a little bit suspect here so do the pawns really make up for the whole rook actually so black's got a whole rook now so rook f8 g5 we have bishop f5 check king h8 queen d6 this is annoying because it seems to look at f8 and h6 but Lila casually plays this encouraging queen h6 check it seems ineffectual here because of king g8 and then black's going to have some more fun soon so uh, we have king f2 check queen a1 king g2 queen e1 check check queen e6 and now yeah the queens come off and yeah it just looks like a rook up the pawns are just coming off it seems as though somehow uh lasers being provoked into uh unsound sacrifices in a way which is unusual uh, for you know classic powerful alpha beta engines to, to have seemingly played in an unsound manner but I think basically there were big shadows around white's king safety resulting in that exchange sacrifice uh, the dangers the threat of the form pawn <laughs> is stronger than the execution maybe no f3 I think there were variations there if the exchange sex didn't didn't happen white's king was in much bigger trouble than in the game 
Uh, so later, yeah, that C file meltdown, give, having to give up the piece. Yeah, Leland made it look as if, you know, what happened here? What, why, <laughs> why on earth did this happen against Laser? So anyway, in, interesting Leningrad Dutch treatment by Leela Chess. Very, very aggressive chess with the black pieces playing for a win. If you enjoyed this game video, then please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessbowl.net. You can play against other YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis of these games in advance with the updated analysis from the improved menu. Learn for the Masters YouTube order button. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe to the notification bell. Especially really appreciated. Okay. Thanks very much.